Oi, oi, oi. My name is Cody. And I'm Manuel. And uh, today I want to talk a little bit about how I got to coding. So, you know, programming, coding skills, everybody, everybody demands that in different kind of industries. Um, I'm coming from a mechanical engineering um, background. And, um, well, in, in, this, in the university, you just learn a little bit here and there. And you try to do your own coding. Um, so you develop in whatever language you're comfortable with. So, for example, Python seems like a good choice, simple language, right? And you, you just try and do your scripts and basically you're messing everything up. So, at least for me, that was the case. I was just doing a little bit of scripting, a little bit of programming, little macros to do kind of automation things. And then I ran in all sorts of different boundaries. Like sometimes I just randomly chose a completely stupid data structure and just messed my code up with. And um, as time progresses, at one point I thought, well, um, you could also do it professionally. Like yeah, there are software developers who do that uh, day in, day out. They know concepts, they have, they have uh, patterns which are proven, which are right which are efficient and so you don't know about them if you do a lot of coding that sucks so for me i wanted to get better at this and i just try to get on constantly learning new concepts um learning new stuff and um yeah cody has a lot more experience uh, in coding actually and um so we thought because i was learning and i was asking all the time uh, to be fair, uh, what's this, what's that, how can we improve this? Um, so we thought maybe that would be also a good idea to just record it and share that with you. So, and this is where the, basically the idea come, came from that we do a professional Python course, how to do coding right, how to do it efficiently. So Cody, maybe you want to talk a little bit about a course, what we have planned? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so far uh, this course is not finished. Uh, I mean, Manuel started uh, learning more professionally. We did some hobby projects together now. So um, yeah, that's where I came now up the idea that we want to do a course together. Um, he's better than what he will show, but uh, we will uh, do this course in a really cool fashion, which I haven't seen before is he will be the learner and I will be, of course, the ex role of the expert um, and together we kind of will play it. So Manuel is on your side. Uh, he will speak your language and voice. Um, <clears throat> I will try to connect to that. Um, so that will be a really nice format. Um, we will go through Py professional Python. So a lot of topics um, will be covered. You will realize that professional Python is a lot about not only Python, but a lot about the stuff around. Uh, it will be cool to show you uh, what it takes to make stuff more professional in general. Uh, we created this repo here, the professional Python repo, where you will find all the lessons. Um, you will be able to go through them also later. Um, additionally to this repo, we will also share a Discord link down in the description, um, where we will uh, give you the opportunity to tap in. And so everyone who uh, takes part in the course, can ask questions there and help each other out. We will also be there around, of course. Um, what we will also offer is from time to time coding reviews. So um, while you do your tasks, um, we give you the opportunity uh, that we take a look at your code and also yeah, give you feedback about what you could be done better and so forth. So that's also something we do. And yeah, um, besides these lessons here, by the way, uh, there will be a coding task. So this is just to display what you should do. But the coding task itself will be uh, something a little bit bigger or different, uh, which will grow also in size over time. Um, we are still discussing what exactly it will be, but uh, it's kind of a nice combination. You have a, a task which you need to improve steadily from a script. And on the other side, you will go through this transformation to professional Python. Um, it will be a lot of topics. Uh, we haven't done the lessons yet all, but uh, be prepared. But afterwards, you should be um, pretty fairly well off if you would do it professionally in a corporate environment. Um, and not everything here we will show you, you will need in every circumstance. But if you learned all of this, you will be yeah, fearless. Like there, I, I doubt there's a lot which might would hit you. Um, which would catch you entirely off guard then. 
And that's pretty nice because Manuel, I mean, he already started this and he got much, much better just with uh, a few of these lessons. Um, it was a really great experience, right, Manu? Yeah, right. Um, yeah, and I also wanted to tell you that I can't wait for the course. That would be, for me, a pretty cool learning experience. And I get to ask you a lot more questions <laughs> than usually. Um, <laughs> so this will be cool. Um, yeah, and uh, I hope just that it it will be as valuable for, for you as it is for me. Definitely, it will be a great experience if you just follow along. And uh, yeah, the lessons are, are great. I think that the ones I've seen until now and the ones we will uh, implement into the future, that will also be great. So yeah, can't wait for that. I don't promise what we didn't deliver yet. <laughs> well, I have it easy because you have to deliver the lessons, right? Well, ah, I, can, I can just help a little, but yeah. <laughs> no, no, all good. No. I mean, we already did a few of these lessons. Yeah. We just didn't write them down. Manu already studied a lot of this stuff now. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, just participate. If you really want to go into professional Python, um, this is an easy, easy way. Uh, to do it on the site, uh, like I said, we will do it kind of on a weekly basis. We will try to keep that up depending on our private life, but yeah. And uh, just as a requirements, um, I wrote it down a little bit, but you should know already Python basics. We will not start from zero. So you should be able to write scripts and know your way around a little bit also around Git and GitHub. Uh, we won't explain that either. I think that's pretty common what you should have learned already, including also Linux and Windows command line basics. Uh, I will be doing Linux, uh, Manuel will be doing Windows, uh, which will cover right. both a bit, which is not so bad, actually. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we will see um, how it will go around. Uh, looking forward to meeting you. And, yeah, see you soon. See you soon. Goodbye.